nerds. Improv nerds. What do you think makes the, the UCB training? Is is I mean the people that have come out of there? Is it just, not only as actors but writers, directors, stuff like that. What is it about that training? And you smile when I say that. Mm -hmm. Are you proud to, uh, of, of what you guys have accomplished? Sure. What is it about the training that people go on and are so successful in the business? They're talentless. Before they get there? Well, yeah. It's the two T's. It's talent and training. You're born with the talent, but it doesn't come out unless you get your training. But there's nothing that you guys do that, that sets people up to succeed in television and film? I think seeing people excel tells you, oh, oh, oh that can be done, I can do that. Like when I was a, a teenager skateboarding, I'd never seen an ollie. If any of us had seen one ollie, we all would have learned What's an ollie? Do. It's like when you flip the board. Okay. Uh, now every kid who can skateboard can do an ollie because it's a thing. So you're just saying success, the, the reason it was success breeds success. There. Well, no, I do think seeing people practice a craft at a high level and being exposed to good stuff, it, it, all, comes, it all becomes part of your collective experience. And you say, I want to do that, I want to do that, and you aspire to do it that well. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to improvise as well as Ian Roberts. I'm never going to, but I, I, we, everybody studies Ian. The three other UCBers study Ian. What is it about Ian that everyone studies? He's a machine. Meaning? He operates like a machine. Um, I, I, in what, in what way? That, that he, ne there's never a bad scene? There's <coughs> yeah, he, he, he's one of those people that makes it look easy. He's unflappable. And he, that guy can get game out of a stone. Um, I had heard that um, early on, he's the one who sat down and said, okay, here is our method, we're going to write this down, and th he created the document for, you know, the UCB style. It, is that, was that true? Well, I wasn't there. He, he, did, uh, he did produce a little handout once that he used to uh, pass out to the classes that was just like, a, it was just really a, like a one-page synopsis. It takes all the, it, it just took really the, the whole kind of Dell Close methodology he identified just a few of the main points, got it down on paper, and just was a good idea to pass this out to students as kind of a reminder. And, um, and then the book developed over a long period of time with a, a lot of people working on it. Mm -hmm. You make it sound like it's a gift. I've had to work on this. <laughs> Wait, you did this on purpose? Yes. Ew, I thought it was just your wiring. No. Who would wish such, who would want such a That's thing? how I got my needs met as a kid. And then I just kept expanding it as an adult. That's why I, I'm successful in commodities. I'm from and a you, big Irish family. I, I'm used to apologizing for my existence. Right. <laughs> You're working in that coffee shop. If you had a little more spaz, maybe you'd be manager. I might be. I, if I was in more in touch with my inner spaz, I'd be owner. Hmm. Sometimes I feel sorry for you. I do. Well, that's insulting. I didn't. I, was, I, meant, I meant it as a compliment. Yeah, when, I mean, when, I when meant people say, I feel sorry for you, everyone says, oh, thank you. You know why? 